over 7 million members after rigorous party recruitment drive. We take pride in being the largest political party in Kenya. Honorable council members, we have a target of 15 million members by April 2027. Your Excellency Section 7 of the Political Parties Act requires the party to have branch officials and offices in more than half of the count, count countries. As UDA, we endeavor to open our branch offices in all the 47 counties. In the recent past, Your Excellency, you launched our Nyeri Regional Office and we now look forward and invite you to open our next branch office in Homa Bay on 7th October 2023. <laughs> Honorable Council Members, we are desirous of inaugurating all our party organs as established in our constitution. To do so, we have lined up a strategic program to build capacity and enhance respective portfolios. We have organized for the National Women Congress that will be hosted here in the coming month, preceding the Youth Congress, among others. These tribes, Your Excellency, are with tremendous support of our partners, including but not limited to the Oslo Center, NDI, IRI, Elgea, FES, Piper, Conrad, UN Women, Danish Embassy, and CMD, to name but a few. Lastly, Your Excellency, you will recognize, honorable members, that as the ruling party, we must lead the way of democratizing the party leadership. That way, the less popular parties, in their quest to catch up with us, will emulate our ways of accumulatively, we will have a mature political democracy in Kenya. Personally, I am happy that I started my political journey as member of county assembly to being a senator. Today, the secretary general, not only of a party, but of the ruling party. To this end, bottom up must not only be a denominator in our economic policy, it must also be our political philosophy. We must therefore agree today and now and further commit our dedication to ensuring a seamless success of the forthcoming grassroots elections from the bottom, that is the polling station, to the top officials of this party, that too is bottom up. Thank you and may God bless you. I would like to take this opportunity, Your Excellency, to welcome the hosting governor, my brother, Governor Sakaja, to welcome us in this beautiful city of Nairobi. Karibu, Governor Sakaja. Thank you. Asante sana, Secretary. Asante sana, wanachama wa UDA, UDA oe, UDA, mumesa au, UDA, kazi ni kazi, pesa mfukoni, inakai kampeni likuwa zamani kidogo. Tutaomba Secretary General atukumbushe vile tunasalimiana. UDA, kazi ni kazi, kazi ni kazi. Pesa mfukuni, kabisa. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and our beloved party leader, Your Excellency, our Deputy Party Leader and Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, fellow delegates. Mine is short. Leo sina mengi, ambo di matatu. Ya kwanza, karibuni kanairo. I am honored to welcome the ruling party 
to the capital city of Kenya, where as a party we are proud that the government of Nairobi County is under UDA, na naomba tupige makofi kwa viongozi wetu na watu wetu wa Nairobi. Just to confirm wageni ni nani, sijui kama tuko hapa na Rift Valley. Tuko na Rift Valley? Womune? Ah, kabisa. Tuko na watu ya Masaini? Misisi Yesu? Tuko na Puani? Kweli mko? Shikamu. Tuko na Northeastern? Hakuna Northeastern? Tuko na Northeastern? Asalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Waislajirna. Tuko na Western? Mlembe vosi. Mwami isomi nywe. Tuko na Nyanza? Nyanza ndo tumekosa. Tuko na Nyanza? Amuoso huu duto te. Okweuru jothurwa. Nani tumekosa? Tuko na Kisi? Abantuba mintombi ya more. Ngamotore. Tuko na Enyoga ningine. Tuko na Mount Kenya? Muriega? Muriega rege? Mwadhani ya Goshuo? Tue hamue. Nyonai na moko tue hamue? Abbas, naona tuko na kila mtu. Yangu ni kuwakaribisha. Tumefrai sana kuhost chama tawala kwa mkutano huu wa fahari. Ya pili, your excellency, is just to thank you for your strong leadership. Thank you because in one year, we have seen what a dedicated, committed, talented leader can do to a country. A country that was in economic doldrums. Us as governors are following in your footsteps. And beyond that, we are grateful for your strong leadership of the party. A strong party is the hallmark and foundation of a democracy. Na chama ni mikutano. Huko meleni tulikuwa hatukutani, na kama ni kukutana, ni kutukanwa. Sasa tunakutana kupanga mambo ya chama na mambo ya serikali. Asante sana rais wetu, na tuatarejia sana mipango ya chama, na tunakushukuru kwa kutupatia Cleo Fas Malala, kijana mchapakazi, ambaye anatembea nchi nzima, akijenga chama chetu, cha yudi yetu. Pigia SG wetu makofi. Ya tatu nikimalizia Your Excellency, umekutana na sisi magavana. Tunafrai sana. Kwa mara ya kwanza, county zinapata pesa ya mwezi huu, mwezi huu. Sio mwezi ambao unafuata ama mwezi uliopita. The disbursements are coming on time. Thank you, you've met us and you're helping us. Umekutana na wabunge, maseneta, umekutana na MP. Nataka nitete MCS. At Pia, Your Excellency, Naomba upate nafasi walike MCS wetu State House. Si ni kweli? Pia hao watembee wakiringa wakijua wako na serikali. Waite State House usikie maneno yao. Vile nilifika nilitembea nikawasalimia wote. Na nimesikia wako na maneno kidogo ambayo sio ngumu kwako. Vile unainua uchumi wetu na jo mambo ya MCS utaweza kuangalia. Wale Your Excellency, najua kuna hii kamati ya kinaishungwa ambao wanaka kitu ya kwanza let us entrench the World Based Development Fund ili kila ward katika taifa letu ipate maendeleo ambayo wewe unatuongoza sio ni sawa ya pili hawa ndio wako kwa grassroots walikatwa wa mshahara hata tusemi iongezwe kwanza irudi palilikuwa tu hata plenary hakuna allowance na kazi yao inakuwa ni ngumu sana. Hiyo tu. Si hati ikuwe zaidi pali likuwa kwanza. Sindio? Saile tuata kupitisha mambo yetu ya Big Four, ya, ya, ya Better Bottom Up Agenda, tunapata hatuna plenary. Ya mwisho kabisa, Your Excellency. Ya mwisho kabisa, Your Excellency. Hiyo mwacha, hiyo nomu naniletenga shida. Ya mwisho kabisa, Your Excellency, watu wa UDA. Murona vile mmevaa leo. Vile mmedunga. Leo kitembea kanairo. Hoteli yoyote, ukiingia, uitisha chai, uitisha mandazi, uitisha ingoho, ukule, alafu ulipe. Mungu wa mbari. Wapi makofi ya gama na sakaja. Asante sana. Asante sana. Your Excellency, sasa ni fursa yangu kukaribisha 
the National Treasurer of the United Democratic Alliance, Honorable Jafet Nyakundi, akuje atudaie na tuambie kama watu wako compliant. Asante. Thank you, the Honorable Secretary General, the UDA party leader, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable William Samoy Ruto, the Deputy Party Leader, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, and my fellow Congress members. Good afternoon. Good afternoon once more. Let me, let me first take this opportunity to welcome you officially to this national congress here national governing council here today i also want to take this singular opportunity to congratulate each and every council member here today for winning your general your, your for winning the election and leadership positions that you hold currently under the UDA umbrella. It is my privilege to be your national treasurer at the UDA party, the largest ruling party in Kenya today. I acknowledge with gratitude the responsibility and accountability that we have to you and to our party. In a special way, may I take, may I thank his Excellency, the President, and the Deputy President, and my fellow council members for the corresponding confidence in me to serve in this position as the National Treasurer of the ruling party. <laughs> Primarily, may I state that the party draws its income from your monthly subscription as well as the political Parties Fund. Honorable members, it is important to appreciate that both income streams arise out of your being elected under the UDA party. The party's strength, perpetual growth, and sustenance is because of your duty and honor to pay your subscriptions. Honorable council members, may I therefore brief this council on the financial perspective of the UDA party. UDA has a total of 1,053 leaders across all the positions contested in the last year's general elections. Out of this, we have 20 governors and 20 deputy governors. We have 182 members of the national, members of parliament comprising of senators, members of the National Assembly, women representative, and nominated members of the, both houses. And we also have 808 members of the County Assembly. The party has so far collected out of you members 127 million 60,138 Kenya shillings. The party has also received 345,800,393 from the political parties fund. Honorable members, may I inform you that the member subscriptions amount has not been expended even a single coin because we intend to, we intend to acquire and build our own party headquarters. It is useful to appreciate that 72% of governors and deputy governors have, sub have paid their subscriptions. 89% of seven rats and 98% of members of the National Assembly. Your Excellency, may I draw your attention, but members of parliament are the most paid up in the, in, in the subscription that we normally get monthly. Kindly, let us give them a round of applause. My members of parliament, my fellow members of parliament, I'm so proud of you. 85% of the members of county assemblies. 
These honorable members is a commendable effort in keeping true to our allegiance to the UDA party, a commitment to build an enduring political entity and an engraved symbol to and an engraved symbol in the political history of this nation. As your treasurer, I commit to prudent utilization of these funds in accordance with the vision of this great party. We shall make available audited books of accounts as and when it is required to all members of the party. We request you to comply in the respective membership subscription fee. I want you to turn next to the person next to you. I can see even the president has a tag. If there's someone who doesn't have a tag next to you, kindly tell him to pay his subscriptions. <laughs> and out of this will assist us to have 100% compliance. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, my fellow council members. May God bless you. God bless Kenya. Asante sana. Okay. Wapi makofi ya treasurer wetu. Asante sana. It is now my pleasure to invite the first woman chairperson of a ruling party in Africa and the whole world. The best governor, rated as the best governor, Governor Cecil Barire. Karibu sana, Madam Chair. Thank you very much, SG. The President of the Republic of Kenya and the party leader of the United Democratic Alliance, His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and the Deputy Party Leader of UDA, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, the National Executive Committee members, Honorable Council members, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Hamjambo! Hamjambo tena! Wacha tusalimiane salamu za UDA. UDA! UDA! Kazi ni kazi! Kazi ni kazi! Asanti sana. I want to start by thanking our party leader his Excellency President William Ruto for entrusting me with the responsibility of Chairperson UDA Party. Today I'm attending the first NGC as a Chairperson and it is indeed a remarkable honor for me and the women of this country as it reflects the President's commitment to promoting and empowering women in leadership. This demonstrates that our party party leader is not only a visionary leader, but also one who recognizes and values diversity and inclusivity in the political space. Your Excellency, Asante Sana, and I want to tell you that I have taken my role well. I have been steering the National Executive Committee meetings, the National Steering Committee meetings, and I can assure you that the NEC members and the NSC members are extremely, extremely committed to matters relating to the party. We have never had quorum hitches. They always come almost 100% at any one time. Thank you, sir. Secondly, I want to extend my congratulations to all our party members for their outstanding achievements in the 2022 elections. UDA garnered 802 and eight MCA positions, 128 members of parliament, 32 senatorial positions, and we have also managed 20 governors elected from UDA. And at this point, Your Excellency, let me tell you that out of the 20 governors, four are women in UDA. And it is the first time that one single party has produced that number of female governors. We appreciate. Also, Your Excellency, out of the 28 MPs elected from single member constituencies, female MPs, 12 are members of the UDA party. 
So there's no doubt that this is the future party, the party of the women of Kenya, and this is the party that consciously nurtures the strength and the potential of women leaders to get to where they want to be. Kina mama hoe! Kina mama hoe! Thank you, Your Excellency, for being an extremely gender-sensitive president. We appreciate. I want to appreciate all our members for their tireless effort. Sorry. Uh, Your Excellency, your su the success of the hard work of these honorable members is due to their dedication and co commitment. We have demonstrated to the nation that UDA stands for unity, inclusivity, and opportunities for all, young and old, from all parts of this great nation of Kenya. I want to appreciate all our members for their tireless efforts in mobilizing support for the UDA party and our presidential candidate, His Excellency Honorable William Ruto. Your dedication and unwavering belief in the party's mission and vision resulted to our ultimate victory, garnering the presidency. We delivered what we wanted, but we have a lot more work ahead of us. Your Excellency, I want to assure these honorable members that we have agreed as a party, we are going to work hard to support the agenda of the UDA party and the Kenya Kwanzaa government and make sure we become the best ambassadors for all our programs at the grassroots level. And Your Excellency, we have also decided in fostering unity, the party will never do an activity in your ward, in your constituency, in your county without involving you. You'll be central in what we do as a party going forward. We have involved you before, but we'll even involve you more going forward. Because were it not for you and the many supporters you have left behind, the party would not be what it is today. Our journey did not end with elections. As members of the UDA party, we have a significant responsibility to support the president's agenda and implement the Kenya Kwanzaa government's plans for the people of Kenya. Our role as leaders at the national and county level is crucial in shaping the future of this nation. Let us continue to work diligently to make Kenya a better place for all citizens. As we look to the future, I want to encourage all Kenyans to participate actively in the upcoming grassroots elections, seek vacant elective positions, and run a peaceful and issue-based campaign. Our party thrives in the involvement of its members at all levels of government. It's only through active engagement and teamwork that we can bring about real change. Your Excellency, as I conclude, I want to take up from where Senator Sakaja Wakanairo has left. Oh, Governor Sakaja, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> You've been senator for too long, but I, I want to agree with him when he says that it's about time, Your Excellency, you had a sitting with our 808 MCAs. And, and, and Your Excellency, my pleas that Uwaita State House wakae hapo wajienjoy waongee na wewe wakwambie shinda zao ndio tuweze kwenda mbele and your excellency as the, the governors of UDA and because I'm a governor we strongly believe it's about time we gave the assemblies independence and we strongly believe it's time we entrenched the world development fund in the constitution so that these great men and women can be able to deliver on their promises to the electorate. We just need to agree on a formula that is able to keep the, the, the wards and the, and the counties on top. Your Excellency, that's not too much. We believe that the MCAs are the most important grassroots leaders for this country. So, Your Excellency, with those few remarks, may I conclude by letting us remember that we are part of a political movement that is driven by the desire to transform Kenya. 
Let us continue to uphold the principles and values of the UDA party and let us always remain united in our quest for a prosperous, inclusive and just Kenya. Thank you. May God bless the UDA party. May God bless this country and may God bless our party leader and deputy party leader. UDA OE! UDA OE! Asante Nisana, may God bless you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, honorable members, it's now my pleasure to welcome the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, who is also our Deputy Party Leader, the truthful man, son of Mau Mau, the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa. Asante, Asante, thank you. Aya. Arambe! Arambe! UDA UDA Kazi ni kazi Asante ni sana na nimeshukuru sana Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ambaye ndio kiongo wataifa ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii kwanza kutoa kushukurani kushukura, kwa niaba yako na sisi wote ambaye tuko na nyati mbalimbali mbali katika serikali yako kutoa shukurani kwa hao viongozi kwa sababu hawa rais wetu dio machinery yako that mobilized seven Point two million Kenyans to make you the president of the Republic of Kenya. Kwa hivyo kwa niaba rais wetu na sisi wote tunasema asanti kwa ile kazi mlimfanyia rais na sisi hapo tukapata ni mlitusaidia na ni kazi yenu ambaye mlifanya ya kujitolea. Tunataka tuseme asanteni sana. Your Excellency, let me first thank you on behalf of the UDA fraternity that after we elected you as president you have not disappointed <laughs> on behalf of our party your excellency i must say in this podium that your performance on the international stage has been nothing but excellent and excellent Rais umetutia heshima kama UDA fraternity for the successful hosting of the Africa Climate Summit and for your sterling performance at the United Nations General Assembly. Tumepata heshima kama Kenya na katika bara la Afrika we feel proud that African leaders have identified you as a worthy leader to champion the issues of the African continent in the world stage. Tunataka tuseme asante. Your Excellency, we also want to thank you. Kwa sababu, hakuna mtu hajui ile Kenya ulikabithiwa. Ulipata Kenya yenye matatizo mengi ya kiuchumi. Na mimi nilisema pale kasarani wakatipikia kelele. Wakasema mimi ni mjehuri. Ati mimi naonika Kenya bele ya wazungu. Mimi nikasema sikuli kwa mutu. Mimi nakula kwa mamakashangwa na heza sema hile hiko. Rais tulipata matatizo mengi. And through prudent management. Through well thought out economic interventions. 
we have started seeing signs of economic recovery. One of the clearest signs of economic recovery is that the end of the 2022-2023 financial year, by the closure of the financial year on 30th June midnight, your government had disbursed the last penny to the county government and we don't know them a cent. Similarly, all the 290, 290 constituencies had received their funds. There are challenges, yes, but that is a clear sign that the president has put the country on the right trajectory of economic revival. Why, if you rise to the Kukunga Mkono, and this being your ambassador's peer to Naomba Nyinyi Viongozi, Mutakuwa ambassadors wa serikali na wa rais mashinani. Ya kwamba tukipata shida ile iko matatizo ya kitaifa, like we have a challenge with the fuel prices, which is a global challenge. Nyinyi mukiwa maabasenda wa rais katika ward, katika constituency, katika county. Ndiyo mutakuwa mstari wa mbele ya kueleza wananchi yale mambo wabai naendelea wasikuje kushurutishwa na negative propaganda by those that we defeated and those who work for them. Rais hii chama yetu ni chama ya kitaifa na si chama ya kushida uchaguzi. Previously, political parties were for winning elections. And that is why after winning elections, all the parties that had won elections died away. The UDA party was not formed for the sole purpose of forming government. It is a party based on ideology, the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. So this is a party of the future, the party that must live for generations to come. And that is why, Your Excellency, by convening this National Governing Council, is the first step of making sure that this party is strengthened and it's a party that will be around, not in the next 10 years, not in the next 20 years, but the next century, as a party with an ideology. Nikimalizia Rais, Yoni Kualike, niseme ya kwamba, hawa waeshimiwa wetu, watakuambia, ya kwamba wa Kenya, wamefrahia, ile kuteremusha bei ya bolea kutoka shilingi 1007 mpaka 1250 na wananchi wamefurahia ya pili rais serikali yako iliamua ya kwamba haitakuwa ya kuangaisha wananchi itakuwa ni ya kusaidia wananchi tangu uliapishwa kama rais hakuna wa Kenya wameshurutishwa na kubomolewa nyumba yao usiku na kutolewa bila mpango na rais vile uliahidi ya kwamba your government is people centered it's a government that is sensitive to the people of Kenya we want to thank you for that so that we continue enjoying our democracy again your excellency we want to thank you and the government for the success story in the north rift pale kabla uchukue ushukane kama rais Buduki likuwa nalia usiku na mchana. Watoto wanaumia, wamama wanaumia. And through your leadership and proper guidance, the Ministry of Interior and Defense, the North Rift is enjoying peace. And a lot of work is going on to make sure that that peace is sustained for posterity. Na kwa hivyo, Rais wetu, MCs wetu. Hawa. Dio ile askari yako ya pale chini. Hawa dio viongozi wanakaa na wananchi every day. Unajua mimi na wewe rais tuko na kazi mingi tunaweza enda pale nyumbani once in a while. Hao members of parliament wanakuja bunge Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, wanakuja weekend, wanarudi Nairobi. Governor ako pale kwa county. Lakini hawa MCAs awezi hepa wananchi. 
Hawa dio wanakaa na wananchi kila siku. Na kwa hivyo hawa dio askari wetu wa maana zaidi. Na ndio ambaye watatusaidia kueleza program zetu kwa wananchi. Kwa hivyo mimi naungana na viongozi wenzangu. Tukipata nafasi upate kikao na hawa. Tuongee mambo ya nyumbani. Lakini pia tu ni muulize MCS kuna mambo ya hapa kwa kila mtu na kuna mambo ya nyumbani. Ile kikao naomba rais ni ya nyumbani. Kwa sababu ile mambo ingine ikitangazwa sana saa ingine na matatizo. Na diyo tumepanga na wale watu wanapanga ziara za rais. Wale people the state program officers. Ya kwamba rais akitembea katika ward yako. MCA apatiwe na fasi asalimia wananchi na pia wale MCAs wengine watambuliwe wakiwa pale mbele ya rais Dio pia MCA aweze kupata heshima yake pia ningetaka kuomba nyinyi MCAs na magavana wetu mnajua tumelaliwa sana na pombe haramu na bangi tunaomba nyinyi katika vikao yenu kama assembly Mupitize zile sheria ambaye sitatusaidia kukabiliana na pombe haramu na bangi. Na pia tunauliza magava na wetu wa UDA. Wakue mstari wa mbele katika hii vita ya kupigana na pombe. Kwa sababu tusipofanya hivyo. Vijana wetu ambaye diyo kesho yetu watamalizika. Kwa hivyo with the support of the governors and the members of the county assembly we should be able to make some good progress so that we can save the next generation kwa hivyo rais sisi tunakushukuru na tunafurahi na hawa your excellency unajua wananikashifu nikiongea mambo ya shares mimi sina maneno mimi nasema Kenya ni yetu sisi zote ya kila mkenya na kila mkenya apate maendeleo kwa sababu analipa kodi na rais ni baba wa mkenya wote afanyie wa kenya wote kazi lakini in the leadership of president william ruto there is some share holding katika uongozi wake na rais wale shareholders halisi katika uongozi wako ni hao wameketi hapa siku ya leo na ndio tunasema Rais afanyie wa Kenya wote kazi. Kila sehemu ya Kenya ipate maendeleo. Lakini wale wa kumsaidia ndio wafaulu ni wale wanamuamini, waliopunga waliuga ye mkono na wanamuelewa. Kwa sababu uwezi chukua wale hawakuelewi. Wale walikuwa wanasema hutoshi, hufai, uambie wakusaidie kazi. Kazi yako itakwama. Ita Kwa hivyo rais mimi nataka niseme mbele yako mbele ya chama ya kwamba in your leadership these are the true shareholders of your leadership and they must occupy the right of place in that leadership because they believed in you they believed in your policies they believed in your ability to steer this country to the next level muko tayari tumkaribisha kiongozi wetu mtasimama kuna mama wanajua vigelegele Aya moja Mbili Tatu Ine Tano Karibu mwishwa rais <laughs> Aya Arambe 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 Yudie UDA UDA kazi ni kazi asanteni sana tuketi chini Mheshimiwa Deputy Party Leader wetu Mheshimiwa Chairman Secretary General Treasurer Members wote wa Council hii ya National Governing Council Hamjambo Hamjambo tena. Bwana asifiwe. Basi mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii 
niungane kwanza na viongozi wale waliosema mbele yangu mimi niwakaribishe nyinyi nyote katika mkutano huu wa kwanza wa National Governing Council wa chama ya UDA karibuni sana na pongezi wale wote mmeketi hapa muko hapa na sababu na muko hapa kwa sababu mumeteuliwa mumechaguliwa and each and every one of us who is here is here as a matter of right kwa hivyo mimi nataka niseme karibuni sana tuendeshe huu mkutano wa kwanza na wa muhimu wa chama cha UDA mimi najua ya kwamba sio kawaida pale mbeleni tulienda kwenye uchaguzi na baadaye chama ikawa wale watu walikuwa wanaita ati chama ni matatu ya kukutoa pale kukufikisha pale unalipa ushuru alafu unahama lakini tumekuja hapa kubadilisha to have a paradigm shift about the politics of our country tumekuja hapa kudhibitisha ya kwamba chama si matatu chama ni institution ya governance na ya kuendesha mambo ya siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya kwanza kabisa wacha mimi niwashukuru ninyi nyote kila mmoja wetu aliye hapa mulichagia katika uchaguzi ambao ulitupatia ushindi kama chama cha UDA mimi nataka niseme asante sana narudia tena kwenu ninyi nyote mlioshiriki kama my MCS candidates kama wabunge wetu ma senator ma governor kila mtu wale officials wetu wa chama mlio hapa wote mulichangia katika ushindi wetu kwa niaba yangu mimi nataka niwaambie asante sana wa Kenya wengi milioni saba na laki mbili walishiriki katika uchaguzi huu katika upande wetu na kutupatia kura zao wengine zaidi walishiriki kuwachagua ninyi kama ma MCA wabunge senators na pamoja na governors sisi kama chama cha UDA National Governing Council tunataka tuwashukuru wanachama wetu wote katika mkutano huu wetu wa kwanza tuwaambie wanachama wote wa UDA mahali popote walipo asanteni sana kwa kura zenu na kwa ushirika wenu nataka pia nichukue nafasi hii niwashukuru wale waliokuja wakaungana na sisi watu kutoka vyama zingine kwa niaba yetu tena nataka niwaambie wale wote wa Ford Kenya wa ANC wa eh, Chap Chap wa kutoka chama zingine zote I will not mention all of them tuwaambie asante sana kwa kutuunga mkono ndio tuweze kupata huu ushindi Tumefika hapa na huu mkutano malengo yake ni matatu sio yale mnajua hapo tutaenda hapo baadaye tumekuja hapa tuwe na huu mkutano ili mimi niwapatie taarifa ya vile mambo ya livyo kwa ile manifesto tulitengeneza mambo yamefika wapi hiyo ni jambo la kwanza because i owe it to you to give you an account of where the implementation of our manifesto imefikia jambo la pili tumeitana hapa tuwe na mkutano wa chama tuweze kupanga chama yetu na tukubaliane vile chama itaenda mbele na vile tutashirikisha wa Kenya zaidi katika mambo ya chama yetu ya UDA na jambo la tatu tumekuja hapa kupanga vile chama yetu ya UDA kwa sababu chama sio ya wale sisi tumeketi hapa chama ni ya wenyewe na wenyewe mnawajua wenyewe ndio wale walitupigia kura watu milioni saba na nusu tunataka tukubaliane 
vile chama hii ambayo ni chama tumepatiwa kwa heshima kubwa tuweze kuiendesha kwa niaba ya wale vile tunaweza kuunganisha chama hii na wenyewe na wenyewe wachukue nafasi ya kuamua mambo ya uongozi wa chama kutoka ward kwenda kwa constituency kwenda kwa county na vile vile tutakuja tuwe na mkutano kama huu tuwe na uchaguzi wa chama wa kitaifa ndio ijulikane nani ako na e, nafasi gani na iwe imeamuliwa sio na mimi sio na rigiji sio na wadosi hapa lakini na wenye chama wenyewe that is why we are here tunaelewana jameni tuko hapa mambo matatu mimi nitawapatia account ya vile mambo ya livyo katika kuendesha mambo ya manifesto kwa sababu tumechaguliwa kwa sababu ya manifesto ambayo tuliuzia wa Kenya. Alafu tumekutana hapa kupanga mambo ya chama yetu. Alafu tutakubaliana vile tutakuwa na uchaguzi wenye chama waamue uongozi wa chama. Three things. Na nasema hivyo kwa sababu katika ukumbi huu ndio nilitangazwa nikawa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Na katika yule uchaguzi ambayo tumewaambia wa Kenya shukrani nyingi na tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutasonga mbele tukiwa pamoja katika huo uch, uh, huo uchaguzi ulikuwa na uchaguzi wa maana sana na ulikuwa na uchaguzi wa kipekee aina ya kipekee katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa sababu ilikuwa ni uchaguzi wa Kenya walizungumza in an equivocable manner the people of Kenya spoke in the last election and they said they wanted an election that is free of ethnicity the people of Kenya secondly said they wanted an election that is free of violence and number three they said they wanted an election that is determined by the people in a democratic manner haya ndio mambo ya matatu ambayo yalitokea ama yalidhihirika kwa uchaguzi uliofanyika jambo la kwanza wananchi wenyewe waliamua ya kwamba hawataki tena siasa ya Kenya iwe ni siasa inayoendeshwa kwa misingi ya ukabila ndio sababu mimi nilichaguliwa na watu wa jamii zote katika taifa letu la Kenya watu walionipigia kura wa jamii zingine wanazidi wale walionipigia kura wa kutoka jamii yangu hiyo ndio statement ya watu wa Kenya na wa Kenya walisema wamechoka na siasa ya ukabila wanataka siasa ya sera na ndio walichagua kwa sababu ya sera yetu sio kwa sababu ya kabila ambazo tunatoka mnajua wale tulikuwa tunashindana na wao wakati huo walikuwa wanatuambia ya kwamba hatuwezi kushinda kwa sababu jamii hii na jamii hii na jamii ile itaungana lakini wa Kenya waliungana na wakashinda ukabila jambo la pili wa Kenya waliamua ya kwamba tutakuwa na uchaguzi wa amani na ndio sababu hiyo hata mbali na yale mambo yaliyotokea katika ukumbi huu fujo ililetwa hapa kisirani ililetwa hapa lakini wa Kenya na IEBC walisimama mahali ya ukweli na uchaguzi ukatangazwa ukawa ni wahuru na haki pale IBC walituweka mahali pazuri sana kwa sababu for the first time we had a public portal where any Kenyan could follow the elections from the comfort of their homes it was not possible to change the results of that election na jambo la tatu wa Kenya waliamua wao ndio kusema tuliambiwa ya kwamba kuna kitu inaitwa system tukaambiwa kuna ingine inaitwa deep state eh si tuliambiwa hiyo maneno yote lakini wa Kenya ni nani si wa Kenya ndio walikuwa wa kusema tulishinda deep state tukashinda system tukashinda ile ingine sijui nini eh at machinery eh hiyo yote so katika hiyo uchaguzi 
the people of Kenya spoke loudly that it is them who decide the leadership of their country. It is not the system, it is not the deep state. Nikweli ama sikweli? Na ndio tumesimama katika ukumbi huu leo ili wa Kenya wajue ya kwamba yale mambo yale walituambia tulisikia. We heard the people of Kenya loudly that they do not want politics based on ethnicity, that they want a peaceful country and that they want a democratic country. And that is why we are sitting here as UDA today to lay the firm foundation for a democratic party that is a national party and that will get rid of the politics of ethnicity, a party that will be built on the solid foundation of a program, an agenda, and a manifesto that shortly I am going to explain to you, Mahali Tumefika, na hiyo manifesto yetu. So, let me start with the first assignment that I have before you. This party does not belong to me. I am just the leader. The, Peter, the party belongs to you and to the millions of supporters of this party in every part of the country. And as a leader, I must give you a report of what the government you elected has done over the last one year. We agreed on five areas. Tulikubaliana mambo ya kilimo katika manifesto yetu. Tukakubaliana mambo ya universal health coverage. Tukakubaliana mambo ya housing. Tukakubaliana mambo ya MSME. Tukakubaliana mambo ya digital super highway. Haya ndio mambo matano ambayo yana underpin ile manifesto yetu ambayo tulichaguliwa na wakenya tuliwauzia wakenya katika mambo ya kilimo hapo ndio matatizo ya gharama ya maisha yalipo na mnakumbuka wakati tulikuja mashinani tulikubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba tutabadilisha msingi wa kilimo ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunawasaidia wakulima watuzalishie chakula ya kutosha ndio tupunguze gharama ya chakula tukipunguza gharama ya maisha ni kweli ama si kweli na ndio sababu hiyo katika nafasi yetu ya kwanza ndio tumeenda pale tukasema njia ya kwanza ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunapunguza gharama ya maisha ni kuenda kutafuta namna ya kumsaidia mkulima azalisha chakula zaidi na ndio sababu tumepunguza gharama ya mbolea tunashughulikia gharama ya mbegu sasa hivi tukiongea mbali na kupunguza gharama ya mbolea kutoka 7 mpaka 2500 saa hizi tunashughulikia gharama ya mbegu zingine cotton seed sunflower and others so that we can begin the journey to reduce the cost of living because it is the pragmatic way kupunguza gharama ya maisha sehemu ingine tumekubaliana katika budget tumepitisha ya kwamba tutakuwa tunaagiza yellow maize duty free na tumekubaliana na wizara ya kwamba tunataka kupunguza gharama ya eh, chakula ya mifugo yetu vile vile gharama ya mifugo ya nyama gharama ya chakula ya ya, ya, ya ngombe ya maziwa kalama ya mifugo yale mengine ikiwemo kuku na zile zingine wafugaji wa kuku kama mimi na wengine tunataka hiyo eh, gharama ikuje chini ndio tuweze tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunapunguza ama tunaongeza mapato ya wakulima na vile vile tuwapatie uwezo wa kuzalisha chakula zaidi maziwa zaidi na yale mambo mengine zaidi haya ni mambo tayari tumeyapitisha katika bunge na saa hizi tunayatekeleza jambo la pili tulikubaliana ya kwamba tutapanga mambo ya ajira kwa sababu tulikubaliana ya kwamba katika kila familia haikosekani watoto wawili watatu wamemaliza shule na hawana kazi ni kweli ama si kweli na ndio sababu hiyo niliwaeleza ya kwamba tutakuwa na mpango maalum deliberate intentional kwa sababu pale mbele 
kama taifa hatujawahi kuwa na mpango wa kuzalisha nafasi ya ajira that is why this time for 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 the first time we have a comprehensive program on how to create jobs deliberately and intentionally na tuko na mambo manne ambayo tunafanya kuzalisha nafasi ya ajira katika taifa letu ya kwanza niliwaeleza ya kwamba tutakuwa na mpango wa housing kwa sababu housing imetambulika duniani kote kwamba ndio mahali ambapo panaweza kuzalishwa nafasi ya ajira nyingi kuliko sekta zingine sababu hiyo ndio tulikuwa na mpango tukaweka katika sheria tukatengeneza housing fund mimi na furai ya kwamba leo tuko na uwezo na nilitangaza juzi wakati nilitembea pale mkuru ya kwamba in the last one year tumeanzisha ujenzi wa manyumba elfu sabini tayari na nikiongea na nyinyi zaidi ya vijana elfu mia moja hamsini elfu mia moja hamsini nirudie tayari wako kazini nia yetu ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunajenga nyumba elfu mia mbili kila mwaka ili tuhakikishe kwamba tunapata ajira katika sekta hiyo ya housing that is our first plan in our commitment to create jobs jambo la pili katika hiyo sekta tumekubaliana ya kwamba kutumia digital super highway ambayo ni sehemu ingine ya manifesto yetu saa hizi tunaendelea na kusambaza mambo ya fiber optic iende kwa katika kila ward hawa wabunge wetu tayari tumekubaliana na wao vile tutakuwa na digital hub ama ICT hub katika kila ward na mimi najua MCAs wako hapa nataka kila MCA ajue mpango ya serikali ya UDA ya Kenya kwanza ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila ward kutakuwa na ICT hub nataka wewe MCA uanze kujipanga na mbunge wako tayari tumnasambaza kompyuta mbili tayari katika kila kila um, Tibet every institution ya Tibet tunaweka kompyuta katika kila Tibet mimi nimekuwa katika sehemu mbalimbali waziri owalo na uh, uh, watu wake wanatembea kila mahali na tunataka tukubaliane na hiyo ni mpango ya mwaka huu tumeweka pesa katika budget tumekubaliana vile tutakuwa na ICT tumekubaliana hiyo ICT infrastructure itakuwa namna gani na wabunge wetu kutumi, kutumia eh, CDF wataweka vif, watawe, watajenga ile mjengo na sisi tutaweka equipment na pale tunataka kufanya mambo mawili actually mambo matatu namba ya kwanza tunataka tuhakikishe kwamba vijana wetu in every ward vijana mia tatu, vijana mia ine, vijana mia tano, wanapata mafundisho ya kutumia kompyuta jambo la pili pale katika ward pia tupange vile nafasi ya ajira inaitwa remote jobs inaitwa digital jobs ambayo tayari tumekubaliana na kampuni nyingi za kimataifa mimi nilikuwa marekani nikawa silicon valley tukakubaliana na watu wa amazon tukakubaliana na watu wa intel tukapatiana na watu wa google ambayo niliwatembelea ya kwamba tutapata nafasi ya ajira ya vijana wetu watakaofanya kazi wakiwa nyumbani pale katika ward mali inaitwa ama kazi inayoitwa digital jobs because we must be deliberate we must be intentional about creating job opportunities for the young people of our nation. Na jambo la pili tunataka kutumia hiyo fiber optic na ICT wards kupanga mambo ya kuhakikisha kwamba e-commerce biashara katika mtandao inasonga mbele. Na vile vile tutatumia hiyo e-commerce kuhakikisha kwamba hata services ya serikali unaweza kupata ukiwa mahali karibu sio lazima utembelee ofisi za serikali mahali popote mlipo jambo la tatu 
Tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutakuwa na program intentional deliberate ya export of labor from Kenya. Tayari tunapata pesa bilioni mia tano kila mwaka. 4 billion dollars kila mwaka kutoka uh, diaspora remittance. Wa Kenya wanaofanya kazi nje ya Kenya. Nia yetu ni kuongeza hiyo diaspora remittance kutoka bilioni ine dola za Marekani mpaka trillion moja. Hii mnanielewa? So our intention is to double the money that we get from remittance saa hizi wizara ambayo inahusika na mambo ya labor nimefanya mikutano mingi pamoja na wao tumekubaliana na serikali ya Marekani tumekubaliana na serikali ya Ujerumani rais wa Ujerumani alikuwa hapa tumekubaliana na rais wa eh, Canada nilikutana na yeye hata juzi na tumekubaliana tuwe na bilateral labor agreement tumekubaliana na serikali ya UAE tunakubaliana naenda serikali kule Saudi kwa sababu wanahitaji wafanyikazi Saudi peke yake wanahitaji wafanyikazi nusu milioni kutoka Kenya pale eh, Saudi Arabia na sio wafanyikazi wale domestic workers tumekubaliana tu, wa Kenya wako na skills ya kutosha saa hizi zile bilateral agreement zote tuna sign ili tutafute ajira za wa Kenya sio ya domestic workers peke yake tunaweka sahini mikataba ambayo itatupatia skilled jobs unskilled jobs and professional jobs ili tuhakikishe kwamba wa Kenya wanapata ajira so this is the plan that we have in that sector tulikubaliana na nyinyi pia ya kwamba ili tuwe na wafanyikazi hawa ambao tunawazungumzia lazima tuwe na program ya kuhakikisha kwamba masomo yetu iko sawa sawa na inatusa, inatupatia watu ambao watakuwa na skills na competencies ambayo itawasaidia kufanya kazi ile wanatafuta na ndio sababu mnajua tulikuwa na matatizo siku ile ya uchaguzi ya mambo ya CBC na wakenya wengi walikuwa wanasema hii CBC ifutiliwe mbali si ni kweli lakini tuliwaahidi ya kwamba tutaishughulikia mambo ya hiyo mambo ya CBC na elimu ya taifa letu la Kenya. Mimi nataka niwatangazie mkiwa wanachama wa NGC wa UDA ya kwamba matatizo yaliyokuweko kwa sekta ya elimu tumeyatatua. Tuliweka professional body ambayo ilishughulika na hiyo mambo yote ya elimu. Tumepanga mambo ya CBC. Sasa tumekubaliana na walimu tumekubaliana na wazazi tumekubaliana na stakeholders wale wengine wote na tume streamline sasa mambo ya CBC iko sawa sawa na tumepanga vile vile mambo mengine mawili ya kwamba ya kwanza ni kwamba tuko na upungufu ya walimu na ndio sababu hiyo in the last nine months miezi tisa ambayo imepita sasa tumeajiri walimu wapya sita the largest ever hakuna waalimu wameajiriwa mwaka moja 1556 wale wengi zaidi waliajiriwa mwaka moja walikuwa walimu elfu kumi. but this administration kwa sababu tunatambua umuhimu wa elimu kuhakikisha ya kwamba mtoto wa maskini na tajiri watakuwa sawa wakipata elimu ndio tumeweka msingi zaidi katika mambo ya elimu na jambo la pili vile vile tumesema ya kwamba mambo ya capitation kuhakikisha ya kwamba watoto wetu wote wanapata nafasi ya kusoma na watoto wengine wazizuiliwe masomo kwa sababu ya hali ya fedha ya jamii zao ama wazazi wao tumebadilisha mambo ya mfumo ya higher education loans board nyinyi mnajua ma university nyingi karibu zilikuwa zinafungwa Egerton ilikuwa na matatizo Nairobi University ilikuwa na matatizo Moi University ilikuwa na matatizo University zetu zote zilikuwa na matatizo kwa sababu ya madeni ilikuwa imerundikana karibu bilioni sitini. tumeketi chini tumeipangia vizuri na we have a new funding model 
tuliketi chini na vice chancellors wa university zote wa vice chancellors karibu hamsini tumeketi chini na wao tumekuwa sasa na mpango maalum ambayo itahakikisha ya kwamba watoto wa kutoka sehemu yote ya Kenya wanapata nafasi sawa equitable chance ya kusoma katika Tibet na katika university na tumebadilisha sasa hatutumi tena pesa kwa university kama grant kwa university hapana sasa tutakuwa tunatuma pesa kama scholarship kwa mwanafunzi ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba mwanafunzi wa kutoka jamii yenye mapato yao iko chini tunawapatia 100% scholarship mimi nataka niwatangazie ya kwamba mwaka huu peke yake tunawapatia wanafunzi 1045 wanaenda university 100% scholarship na wale wengine watapata scholarship 90% wengine watapata 80% watoto kama wangu watapata 60% mimi nitalipa 40% hakuna problem kwa sababu mimi niko na uwezo kidogo ama na magani na nyinyi pia wadosi mko hapa mtalipa kidogo sawa lakini wale kutoka familia wa chini wata, watapata 100%. So tumetatua matatizo yaliyo katika elimu because we must make our education sustainable. We must make it possible for every child. Nataka munisikize vizuri. Hapo kwa elimu bado iko shida. Kwa sababu watoto wengi wa nyumba maskini and I must tell you this watoto wengi wa kutoka nyumba maskini hawapati nafasi ya kwenda Tibet ama university na hiyo ni makosa makubwa sana kwa shule zetu shule zetu karibu elfu kumi na mbili shule zetu elfu kumi na mbili ya shule ya upili watoto kutoka mashule elfu tano 5000 schools watoto wa waendi Tibet au Indian University. Whole students. Haya ni mambo lazima tuyashughulikie. We must make sure that our education is equitable and is available to every Kenyan child. Na ndio tumeweka pesa nyingi kwa mambo ya elimu na ndio nimeweka pesa nyingi ku support employment ya teachers so that every child has a chance to learn. Hiyo ni maneno tumefanya. Mmesikia vile mambo ya usalama tunayashughulikia, nataka tukubaliane niliwaahidi ya kwamba tutaweka police kama they are operational and financially independent. Na ndio sababu tumewapatia sasa majukumu ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba wanaweka usalama katika sehemu zote za Kenya pale North Rift kulikuwa na matatizo makubwa counties karibu tano, watu walikuwa walali lakini mimi nataka niwahakikishie whatever it takes we will make sure that those counties are safe and secure pia kupigana na mambo ya ugaidi na mambo ya alshabab na yale mambo mengine tumeyaweka darubini sawa sawa ili tuhakikishe kwamba we secure our nation because minor security it will be very difficult for us to engage in any meaningful economic growth vile vile nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba tulikubaliana mambo ya MSMEs na tulisema kuna wananchi wengi wamefungiwa nje kwa makosa ambayo sio yao hawana uwezo wa kukopa chochote wengi walikuwa wamefungiwa kwa CRB tulikuwa na wakenya karibu milioni saba walikuwa kwa CRB mimi niliwaambia ya kwamba hii CRB tutaipanga vizuri i am happy to say that wa Kenya milioni saba waliokuwa kwa CRB tumewaondoa katika CRB nataka pia niwaambie ya kwamba tuliwaambia tutakuwa na hasla fund hasla fund kwa sasa imegawanya pesa ama imekopesha watu pesa bilioni 36 36 billion shillings has been lent over the last 10 months ama 11 months kwa eh, platform ya hasla fund. Wa Kenya milioni saba saa hizi every day wanakopa na kulipa. Niliwaambia tutapunguza ile riba ama interest. Wale walikuwa wale watu wafuliza na wengine walikuwa wanawalipisha 1% per day. Meaning 360% per year. Ni mnanielewa? 
lakini sasa hiyo tukabadilisha tukasema itakuwa 8% per year not 360 hii hustle fund ni 0.02% per day kutoka ile 1% so we have made sure that there is accessible credit ile mimi nataka ni waombe kama national governing council members wa UDA mkiwemo MCAs wa bunge na kila mtu sasa tuko na awamu ya pili ambayo tayari inaendelea ya kuwapatia wa Kenya katika vikundi pesa wanayoweza kufanya nayo biashara mimi nataka niwaulize vikundi watu kumi, watu ishirini, tumepanga kuwapatia pesa mpaka shilingi milioni moja wanaweza kuendesha nayo biashara we need to work with you wewe kama MCA panga watu wako wewe kama mbunge panga watu wako wawe katika makundi ndio wakopeshe pesa waendeshe biashara <coughs> ndio tuweze kusukuma kurudumu ya Kenya iweze kusonga mbele vile vile tulikubaliana maneno ya housing nimewaambia maneno ya uh, digital super highway nimewaambia what we are doing in the digital super highway na pia tulikubaliana ya kwamba tunataka kuweka hotspots mahali mtandao inaweza kupatikana for free 25000 uh, hotspots in Kenya kila soko kila uh, shopping center tuweke na tumekubaliana na wizara ya kwamba that is a program of the next three years by the end of this year kwa sababu tunaanzisha tumewawekea target ya sehemu elfu mbili mumeona watu wa ICT nilikuwa embu kwa mfano pale sokoni wa mama walikuwa ananiambia ya kwamba tayari mtandao iko pale sokoni na tutaendelea katika masoko mengine yote na tuhakikisha kwamba we have ICT infrastructure itasaidia kina mama wetu waweze kufanya biashara vijana wetu waweze kufanya biashara na niliwaambia tafadhali mkipata free internet tutumia kwa biashara sio kutafuta date date inaweza kungoja siku nyingine <coughs> tumekubaliana jameni so tuendelee namna hiyo ya, 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 ya tatu pia tulikubaliana ya kwamba mambo ya matibabu wa Kenya wengi wanaangaika na mambo ya matibabu na tulikubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba tutakuwa na mpango kamili wa universal health coverage pale tulianguka mtiani pale hatukupita mtiani siku ile tukasema tutarekebisha safari hii hiyo safari nimeikalia the last eight months nimefanya mikutano karibu 40 kupanga mambo ya universal health coverage na imechukua muda kwa sababu tumewahi kujaribu kufanya universal health coverage rais wetu kibaki alijaribu haikufaulu tukajaribu tena pale na jubilee ikaanguka this time round we must get it right na ndio sababu tumeipanga vizuri na tumesema ili ifaulu we must have a paradigm shift in matters health delivery in the republic of kenya pale tumekuwa tukishughulikia sana mambo ya curative health tunangoja watu wanakuwa wagonjwa ndio tunawatafutia matibabu sasa tunataka tuibadilishe instead of curative tunataka tuibadilishe iwe preventive and promotive na ndio sababu tumeipeleka pale bottom wiki hii ama ni wiki gani wiki hii jumatatu ndio nili launch phase one ya mambo ya universal health coverage wakati tulisambaza ama tulikuwa na governors hapa tumenunua equipment ya kusaidia community health promoters wale mnawajua wewe kama MCA ni vizuri uanze kujua katika ward yako community health promoters ni wangapi na ni kina nani ili uanze kushirikiana na wao katika matibabu ya watu wa ward yako kila mbunge hivyo hivyo ili tuhakikishe kwamba hawa community health promoters ambayo sasa tumewapatia equipment hapa jumatatu tulipatiana equipment 1100 100000 pieces of equipment for all our 100000 community health promoters serikali ya kitaifa itagawana nusu kwa nusu na serikali ya county kuwalipa 
pesa kidogo ya stipend hawa community health promoters hawakuwa wanalipwa pesa yoyote so hawa community health promoters ndio wataanza kutushughulikia pale mashinani nyinyi kama wana UDA you must watch out kwa sababu tunataka wale community health promoters tumesema every one community health promoter awe na uh, uh, households mia moja ako na kifaa ya kupima sukari ako na kifaa ya, kufi, ya kupima pressure ako na kujua mambo ya homa ako na nini na ako na madawa kidogo mtu akikuta mtu wako kwa crisis anaweza kumfanyia first aid ako na first aid kit na nini na nini tuhakikishe kwamba tunaanza kuzuia magonjwa pale mashinani na vile vile watasaidia watasaidia wananchi na maelezo ya mambo ya matibabu mtu ambaye anahitajikana kwenda health center ataambiwa aende health center mtu ambaye anahitajika kwenda dispensary ataambiwa aende dispensary na tutakubaliana vile tutaendelea pamoja na nita launch the balance of the program on the 20th of uh, next month ndio sasa pale siku ya mashujaa mashujaa yetu ya mwaka huu tumeilinganisha na mambo ya universal health coverage na mimi nataka niwashukuru wabunge Nataka niwashukuru wabunge wetu kwa sababu ili kuhakikisha kwamba tukibadilisha huu eh, mpango na mfumo wa afya iwe ni ya kupromote na kuprevent na tuhakikisha kwamba tunazuia magonjwa pale chini ilibidi tubadilishe sheria zetu sasa katika bunge tuko na sheria nne ambayo itasaidia kuendesha mpango ya universal health coverage and i want to thank our members of parliament they are doing an exemplary job pongezi tuwapige makofi wanashughulika na hiyo kazi nimepatiwa ripoti ingine imekamilika national assembly inapelekwa senate zile zilikuwa senate zitakamilika zileto national assembly na mimi nataka niweke sahihi hizo hizo sheria zote kabla ya tarehe 20 ndio to roll out universal health coverage on 20th on a firm legislative footing that is backed by the law of the Republic of Kenya because it is time watu wengi wanapoteza mali yao wanauza ngombe wanauza mali wanauza plot zao wanauza ngombe zao kugaramia watu ambao wanaenda hospitali tunataka kukomesha hiyo maneno na vile 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 niliwaahidi ile pesa ya kulipa kila mwezi kwa wale watu wenye mapato ya chini wanalipa 500 tukishapitisha hii sheria tutabadilisha mambo ili walipe shilingi 300 kila mwezi tuhakikisha kwamba many more Kenyans can afford the platform to access universal health coverage haya ni mambo ambayo niliona ni vizuri niwaeleze mambo mengine yako mengi tuko na mambo ya poti ya Mombasa mimi niliwaambia watu wa kutoka Mombasa ya kwamba mambo ya privatization ya poti ya Mombasa haitafanyika when we are in government niliwaambia kwanza ya kwamba nikifika ofisini ile maneno ya kulete CFS Nairobi ya kulete operations ya port ya Mombasa Nairobi tutarudisha port operations to Mombasa na tulifanya hivyo on my day one ile kitu mimi nataka niwahakikishie ni kwamba ile port sasa tunataka tuipanue vizuri na tuweke nafasi kubwa zaidi ya kuzalisha ajira na kuzalisha mali kwa sababu ile port sasa iko na uwezo ya kuserve South Sudan DRC eh, eh, Rwanda pamoja na Burundi hata pamoja na ndugu zetu wa Uganda hapa na tunataka tuipanue kwa njia inayofaa uh, we are going to work with the private sector in that process but the port will not be privatized i want us i want everybody to understand that the port will not be privatized we are going to work on a concession process that is going to make sure that we protect the interests of Kenya we protect the interests of the port but we work with the private sector to increase efficiency to increase investment and to make sure the, the port serves more people creates more jobs and becomes much more efficient and becomes much more broader and bigger so mambo yale mengine blue economy mnaelewa vile nimetembea 
the whole of uh, Coast Province kwa mambo ya blue economy, the whole of uh, Kule Nyanza nilikuwa busia juzi kwa mambo ya blue economy, we have a very clear plan on what we are doing. Good people, mimi niliona nichukue na fasi hii ingawaje ndefu kidogo, ni waeleze kwa mba serekali mulio chagua inafanya kazi. Sivu kama tunaelewana, eh, inafanya kazi. Na mimi nataka ni wakikishie, hii serekali itabadilisha taifa letu la Kenya. I have no doubt in my mind that this is the administration that is going to change Kenya for the better and is going to make Kenya that country that we have always wanted it to be. Tunaelewana jameni? Na nimetangaza wazi wazi. Na mimi natangaza, nitaka nitangaze katika gongomano hili la watu wa National Governing Council ya UDA. Ya kwamba hatuta ruhusu ufisadi na wizi na ukora kuharibu nafasi yetu ya kutekeleza manifesto na kuhakikisha kwamba pesa za umma zinatumika katika transformation ya taifa letu la Kenya hiyo haitafanyika na nimesema waziwazi wachanirudie kwa wakora wote <laughs> na wezi na wale wa ufisadi mambo yao ni matatu Mambo yao ni mangapi? Ya kwanza? Kwa hame Kenya, sio? Ya pili? Kwa ende jela. Na ya tatu? Yes. Mambo kuisha. Tunakubalia na hapo? Tunakubalia na hapo? Yes. Ya pili? Niliwambia the reason why we are having this meeting is because of uh, three issues. Number one, I wanted to give you a report of the progress we are making in the implementation of the manifesto upon which we were elected as an administration. Number two, ni kujipanga sisi kama wana UDA. Hapa tumekutana leo kama wabunge, senators, governors, naibu wa rais, mimi, eh, MCS na wale officials wetu wa, wa sasa wa chama. Na tukubaliane vile tutasonga mbele tukiwa pamoja. Kwanza nataka tukubaliane ya kwamba kila mmoja wetu hapa anajua umuhimu wa chama. Chama ni kitu ya muhimu. Nataka tubadilishe mawazo yetu kutoka pale watu walikuwa wanatuambia ati chama ni matatu ya kupeleka mtu kutoka hapa kwenda pale. No. Nataka pia tuwe ni chama ambayo tutadhihirisha katika taifa letu la Kenya ya kwamba mtu anaweza kuchaguliwa kwa sababu ya sera sio kwa sababu ya kimo sio kwa sababu ya dini sio kwa sababu ya kabila na sio kwa sababu ya yale mambo mengine yote just on account of a plan a program a manifesto and, a, and clarity that we build this party na ndio nawauliza jameni tunataka tujenge hii chama iwe ni chama ambayo itasaidia kuleta wa Kenya pamoja tunataka mwanachama wa UDA akiwa Garissa akiwa Homabay akiwa Vanga akiwa nyeri akiwa Rift Valley ajue ya kwamba hii ni chama yake hapo ndio tunataka we want to build the foundation of a party a strong national party tumegawanywa miaka nyingi na vyama ya kabila hii na kabila ile na kabila ingine. na imetuletea hasara kubwa i am a great believer in a strong national political party and that is what i want to persuade you mukubali tujenge hii chama pamoja sijui kama wana UDA mnakubali tujenge chama ya kitaifa jameni tunakubaliana tujenge chama ya kitaifa na iwe ni chama wazi ya pili iwe ni chama wazi mahali kila mtu ako na nafasi ya kusema 
mali kila mtu wako na nafasi ya kutoa maoni mali kuna nafasi ya kuchangia katika mawazo ya vile tunaenda mbele kama taifa vile tunatekeleza wajibu wetu na mimi nataka niwaulize jameni kama kuna mambo hayaendi vizuri ni jukumu letu sisi kama wanachama wa UDA kuyarekebisha usingoje mtu atoke mahali fulani akuja rekebishe na wewe uko pale wanachama wetu wa UDA watatusaidia ku monitor ile, ile implementation ya manifesto ya chama tunataka tuulize MCA wetu pale kijijini wanachama wetu wamuulize hebu tueleze manifesto ya chama imefika wapi ICT hub imefika wapi universal health coverage imefika wapi na wewe MCA lazima uwe na ma, 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 maelezo mbunge awe na maelezo and we must be updated on what government is doing ili wewe usiwe ni mtu ya kuuliza maswali na wewe ndio ungetakiwa kujibu sio kama tunaelewana tunaelewana jameni so tafadhali nyinyi ndio serikali na muelewe hakuna mtu ya kuuliza maswali wenye kuulizwa ni nyinyi so mwanze <laughs> kujipanga kuishi na kukaa na kuendesha mambo kama serikali so na ni vizuri maswali mtuulize ndani hapa mkifika kwa wananchi mna wajibu sijui kama tunaelewana jameni jambo la tatu chama inajengwa na structures na mkutano na ndio sababu sisi wote inafaa vile tumekubaliana hapa ya kwamba contribution ya chama is not negotiable mimi ndio wa kwanza kufanya contribution kwa chama I'm number one. Kila mtu afuate. Ama namba gani? Yes. Uwezi kuwa ati mtu wewe unajifanya hapa wewe ni mtu ya chama na siku ya kutoa pesa unahepa una unaanza kizungu oh ili enda ikarudi hapana eh oh nini hapana no. Sio kama tunaelewana. Chama we want a strong party. And the party is built. Na tutajenga hii chama mtashangaa. Tutajenga hii chama. We are going to ni, kila Eh, 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 kila sehemu mujipange I am looking forward to members of the party in every county wanafanya harambe yao wananua plot wanajenga ofisi ya chama na tutakuja kusaidiana na nyinyi so that we build a solid foundation ndio tufukuze kabisa ukabila kutoka siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya that is what we must do Tumeelewana jameni? Na jambo la la nne pia tunataka idhini yenu. Ya kwamba tunaweza kuna wale tulishirikiana na wao katika uchaguzi huu kama Kenya kwanza. Tunahitaji idhini yenu tuzungumze na wao tukubaliane vile tutaenda mbele. Kuna wale wataamua kujiunga na sisi. Kuna wale wengine wataamua vile tutashirikiana na wao. Hatuwezi kuwa madikteta tuwaambie lazima mfanye hivi hapana. Na nimesikia watu wengine wetu hapa wanasema wa, lazima wafanye hii lazima hapana. <laughs> lazima hapana. Unasema tu ni vizuri. Ni vizuri kama wangeungana na sisi, si ndio? Lakini hatuwezi kusema lazima. Lakini tunataka idhini yenu tuzungumze na wao ili tuwashawishi wale watakuja kuungana na sisi waje tuungane tuwe ni chama kikubwa cha kitaifa pamoja. Si ndio? Wale wengine ambao wako na maneno maneno tutaona vile tutashirikiana na wao. Si namna hiyo? So nataka tukubaliane hivyo ndio tuweze kwenda mbele pamoja. Ya mwisho my third assignment katika hii mkutano ni tukubaliane mambo ya uchaguzi wa chama. Eh hey. Mimi naona hapo ndio mmenyamaza. Hapo kwa uchaguzi. <laughs> hapo kwa uchaguzi my friends. Tunaelewana? Nyinyi mnajua hii chama tulifanya ukarabati madakika ya mwisho. Si ndio? Mungu akatusaidia tukafaulu. Tuka Sasa sisi wote hapa hata mimi kama party leader hakuna mtu amenichagua. Si ndio? Mimi niko tu hapa kirigiji yako area tu hivi hivi 
hawa watu wote hata hii malala sijui research hata sasa anasema asante sana nimepatiwa nafasi lakini wenye chama hawajasema sasa watakuja kusema <laughs> si ndio eh lazima tukubali my friends hii chama iko na wenyewe na wenyewe lazima waseme tunaelewana so na nasikia watu wengi wanasema sijui maybe this is not the right time maybe tungepungojea maybe tungepanga siku nyingine hapana this is the time hatuwezi kufanya uchaguzi ya chama kama uchaguzi inakaribia ile ya national sita tukoroga sasa heri saa hii eh kama kina umana kiumane saa hii ndio tujue vile ya kujipanga kama namna gani yes wacha wenye chama waseme maneno na kila mtu hapa ujipange. Hakuna mtu atapatiwa kiti kwa sahani. Kila mtu ataenda kujipanga. Na usiseme Ruto ni rafiki yangu ama Rigiji ni rafiki yangu hapana. Tafuta urafiki na wanachama huko nyumbani. Kila mtu. Hata mimi nitafuata hawa huko nyumbani. Sijui kama tunaelewana. So for us to build a strong party it we must include and we must involve and the people the membership of this party si umesikia tuko na wanachama milioni saba. ama ulisema ngapi wewe SG 7.2 million members wa hii chama lazima wapige kura kuanza pale kwa kijiji pale kwa polling station tunataka officials wa chama pale kwa ward tutakuwa na officials wa chama pale kwa constituency tutakuwa na officials wa chama pale kwa county tutakuwa na officials wa chama alafu tutakutana hapa tutafanya national elections ndio chama iwe katika msingi thabiti ya endorsement na participation ya wanachama wote wa UDA <laughs> tunakubaliana tufanye uchaguzi ama mnasema tungoje <laughs> tufanye uchaguzi <laughs> bas Mwisho niliwaahidi MCS nitawaona. So Mimi nitawaona. Unipatie kama wiki moja ama wiki mbili nitawaita. Eh, si ndio? Na tutakuja tuongee maneno yenu ya chama na vile tutafanyia kazi wananchi. Si namna hiyo? So uh, tayari tumekubaliana tayari ya kwamba maneno mawili tayari tumekubaliana jambo la kwanza ya ni kwamba tunataka county assemblies yawe na financial independence na tayari leader of majority wetu both of them wako hapa tayari wako na instructions ya kupanga sheria kuhakikisha kwamba county Uh, assemblies have their financial independence. Tumekubaliana? Jambo la pili ambaye mimi nataka nyinyi mkija kuniona munieleze. Pia tunataka tuhakikisha kwamba MCS tuwe na mpango ya pension ya MCS. ili mtu vile tuko na pension ya wabunge pia tuwe na pension ya MCS na hiyo pension tutafuatilia vile MCS wana vile vile wabunge wanafanya vile wana contribute MCS wa contribute wapate pension kama wabunge wale wengine haya mambo ya mawili tayari tumekubaliana hiyo ingine imebaki mtakuja kunieleza. Ama na ama na magani? Tumekubaliana? <coughs> mambo ya mambo hiyo ingine mtakuja tuseme. Tuzitangaze hapa mambo mingi. Si ndio? So as part as part of the resolution ningependa kupendekeza ya kwamba as part of the resolution of this ngc ni kusema ya kwamba we support the process ya uh, independence ya county assemblies na vile vile uh, mambo ya pension ya mcs so
Nafikiri sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Nimefurahi sana kwa ninyi ku, eh, kukuja tuwe na mkutano huu. Sasa kila mtu twende tujipange ili tuweze kuwa na chama thabiti mashinani na uchaguzi tutatangaziwa. Tumesema uchaguzi inaanza tarehe tisa mwezi wa kumi na mbili. So mungu na time. Mutaanza kujipanga? Mina wana watu wameanza kujipanga sahi. Sio gejo, uchaguzi si gejo. Ni, ni disemba. Ojeni kidogo. Na wana watu wameanza kujipanga hapa tayari. So tuendele na mna hiyo. Wacha ni malizi hapo. Na niseme tena kwa wanachama wote wa UDA. Harambe! 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 UDA! UDA! UDA kazi ni kazi asanteni sana na wapenda sana Mungu wabariki